Yeah, I started out in the Congo in 67, and I bounced around a bit. I covered Africa a few years. I did Biafra, and then I went to Singapore. I was based in Singapore and did Southeast Asia, Vietnam, and then Argentina. And I was there during the, the Dirty War at the very beginning of it, and uh, it, a very, very ugly period. And um, we broke a lot of stories that pissed a lot of people off. And so I took a break. I, I went to, got a fellowship at the Council on Foreign Relations and <clears throat> this would have been in 76. So then I went to see the guy that ran the AP, and he said, well, I'll tell you, um, I can give you two bureau, one or two bureaus, you can have Madrid or Paris, I want you to tell me in the next month. And I said, I'll tell you in the next breath, you know, because, I mean, I mean, onion soup is part of it, and this is part of it, but, um, but you know, Paris really is the capital of the world. I mean, everybody stops here for lunch, you know, and, and if you really look at all the confetti of empire, what used to be French and still flies a tricolor, that's like seven continents, you know, if you include saint pierre Miquelon and, and a few frozen bits down near Antarctica. So that was 77. And I was here a couple of years. Um, they asked me to edit the Herald Tribune. I did that a couple of years. And then I realized I was really a reporter, not an editor, and I didn't really want to be inside. And long story there, interesting one. And uh, went back to AP, and again, I talked to the head guy and he says, well, what do you want to do now? When I went back to AP and he says, well, you can, I said, why don't, why can't, can I be the third world correspondent? He says, yeah, but what about the first and the second? And I said, okay, you know. So um, he essentially gave me a big budget in the globe, you know, which was pretty much of a dream job. And he said, where do you want to live? And I said, I'm there, you know, save you the, <laughs> save you the moving money. So that would have been in 81. And I left AP in 2004 and um, pretty much stayed here. I could go to Tucson and teach three months a year, my old home. And, you know, I go back for cheese enchilada season and, you know, when it's warm. And then I come back and, you know, I half go on the road and half live here. I, I mean, I don't really cover much France as France, but I cover the French elsewhere. And I think people really kind of underestimate. I mean, whenever the Americans decide to do something in Africa, they're willing to defend their policies down to the last Frenchman. And, um, you know, the French, if you really look around um, in the Middle East and in, Middle in various East, places, yeah. I mean, they're, they're out there. And, um, you know, just the last recently with the gas in, in Syria, I mean, Hollande had planes ready to go before, you know, the Brits chickened out and the Americans chickened out. So um, the French, you know, I mean, the French civilized us all whether we wanted them to or not. 